Some fields. Sometimes people say these things genuinely, and other times it's like, virtual. Thanks to you, I discovered the great hobby of mayonnaise sliding. Virtual. Thanks to you, I discovered that I just have a kink for choking. I love trying to get close to winning a tournament and then just throwing it all away. It's like the sick passion that I have. And it's all thanks to you that I've been pulling virtuals daily. Pyramids, you know, like that. People twist these things, but if you're just genuinely inspired, I'll take it. Guys, one minute, let's see if uh, Trackmania IO has the map yet. They don't. Let me do this, thank you. First time watching one of these live, let's go. Welcome Titanium and Ethertat. What time is Bunk Up? So, if you're watching this now or you're watching the VOD, it's in exactly one hour from now. It starts 8 p.m. Central European time. There's first cup of the day, which we'll play. And then we have about 10 minutes to get ready for Bunk Up thereafter. So, uh, Bunk Up 8 p.m. European time on Thursdays. And uh, I'm, I'm basically going to play these now every week until I win one. I'm... I'm home for the next two months foreseeably, so I'm not going anywhere. And I'm just gonna grind these until I win. Did my part at subs, good luck in the tournament. Yeah, thank you. I forgot to say, it's also September. So I think you gifted five, but it went to one extra person. I think that's the gimmick this year. Thank you so much, Alchemista. And everyone else, uh, read something as well. Uh, the map is called John Grass. But it is built by Tian Tree who at times builds unique maps. S some mappers just have like a, I would say unique way of, of approaching maps. And Tian Tree is one of them. Yo's as well, gifting five, but make that a six. Thank you, Twitch. Adding one more. Uh, also, thank you, <laughs> Mitsuha Chan. Appreciate that so much, guys. Let's check this out. It could be all penalty grass. It looks like very sharp turns, does it not? I don't think this is going to be something that we've had a lot of. It looks so sharp, this map. Nice intro. <laughs> John Grass. Oh, I'm seeing Shadow Crancer, no slides. A map in gear 2 only, okay. That is actually a very good thing to see in the intro. Trackmania players and talking endlessly about gears will always be a thing. So let's just run through why real quick. Uh, if you get up to gear three, typically getting a higher gear is better. But with sharp turns, if you're forced to gear down again, that can give you a big slowdown. So here I think it's about staying in gear two all the way and that would be under 160 speed. At 160, you get gear three. So anytime you approach 160, the plan then should be to slow down and avoid it. Or steer sharply to avoid it. Uh, also, no sliding. Let's also settle this one. We are not talking about the nose, okay? If you've listened to Trackmania streamers talk about this stuff, we're not talking about gnosis. We're talking about not sliding. So anytime after a turn, I try to connect the skid marks behind the car, so that the car doesn't slide. This could be a, like, groundbreaking revelation for you. But, um, yeah, no sliding. That's also something we're gonna try to do. <laughs> so, with all of that out of the way, let's learn this map, guys. Uh, immediately very uncomfortable to drive, actually. Because it's just so unusual that you have something like this. Very sharp turns and kind of hard to learn the path. Or to even get a flow for how the, the turns work. This first uphill though, I'm noticing I'm probably approaching it too sharp. Because I have no speed afterwards. Ow. And now just, oh, it's so many <laughs> sharp corners. But it's at least not normal grass, you know? Normal grass is one of the more boring Trackmania styles. And we probably need a 30x time here. Two and a half seconds faster. Yeah, I'm approaching that too sharply, so let's let's fix this. 
should probably be way more on the right side here. Because now I can snap out of it earlier and have way more speed. Still crashed, but okay. Ah. Scrappy hates this. I think it's just different, you know? I'm not saying I'm liking the flow of this map so far, because it's so weird. But it's good that mappers try new things. You don't want music to all sound the same, you don't want maps to all be the same. If you ever hear a song and it's like, ooh, this is kind of strange, but it's got like a unique groove to it. That's essentially what this map is, and I am eating so many gears. Whew. If you ever taste a meal with a bit of a unique flavor, say raw chicken, for instance. That's like, oh, I haven't had that before. Okay, this is second faster, 31-4, 21st, right? So people are struggling here. I would love to see uh, Shadow Crancer's GPS here, actually, because I think he's going to release in some corners. Also, I cannot keep up with all the alerts right now, because I need a lot of focus for this map. We're in the mix. Second place. <laughs> okay, I don't know if we're in Division 1 yet, but that felt nice. Still 10 minutes. Wow. Okay. Decent, guys. Decent. A lot of things went correctly there. Oh, that, um... The following no slide is very hard, though. Hmm. I want to go even wider, I think. Ah. Like, I really want to just get a very high line here. Yeah, look at this. You see how that goes equal, even if I'm plus 0.10? There's some stuff here I haven't fully understood. That was good. Oh, yeah. Okay, we gotta, we gotta still improve, I think. If you can keep that no slide, you're gonna gain like a tenth. Oh, almost a tenth in the start there. Okay, I don't want to crash too many times here. You can afford to risk a bit when you're like this far up on the leaderboard, but need to get consistent runs to the ending. This has to be the vision one. <laughs> We're first. <laughs> On oh, the most odd map of the year, probably. <laughs> Alright, let's go, guys. Let's go. And there's still more I can gain, I'm sure. Yeah, it's just so awkward, this map. And in a way that suits me really well. Because a map like this... You, like, if you're really good at drifting maps, you cannot use any of that knowledge. Like, a uh, road technical map, right? If you're looking at full speed or whatever, you can't really apply that knowledge here. And so it kind of resets a lot of the... You know, favorites... ...in certain styles. And it's not like I've practiced slow grass maps for years leading up to this moment, but... ...I think I'm good at adapting to new stuff. So we're, we're, we're getting somewhere now.
Let's see if we can uh, improve pace a little bit and then try to get consistent. There's an interesting line here, but I don't know if it gained. Oh, it might have. Yeah, that might have gained. And there's also some interesting stuff here, but you bounce. I, I want to check lines after qualifier for sure here. I, I'm going to turn off the ghost too. Not because I think it will help me drive faster, but really because I think I need to see more on my own and not use the ghost as reference. I Oh, this is actually not that bad. It looks bad on the split, but wait. That's a point 0.5. I've been knocked out a few spots now, but we're still up there. Which I'm perfectly fine with. I'm pretty sure my, my time is already at Division 1 time. I'll still hope to improve a bit. It's a very slow start. Can't really... I mean, I'll try. Yeah, point two. Can you get anything more here? No. Not with that. Do you like this map? It's... it's just... It's refreshing in a way. It's really strange. But after playing thousands of Trickmania maps that look similar to something you've seen before, playing something that you can't really equate to anything you've played previously is nice. It's a new experience, you know? So in that sense, I like it. But I can also say that the reason people haven't built maps like this is because the racing lines can feel very awkward. And that is the, <laughs> the drawback with slow grass maps like this. No! Ah, minus two and I hit the pillar. So there's a reason this is not the most popular style. Or built frequently. But it kind of works. Oh, minus eight, but too wide. Ah, too wide again. Too wide. Ah! I mean, I'm getting decent pace here. Point fives quite often. It's just not um, as fast as the others, though, for winning pace. And I keep crashing this first, um... First pillar. Carl Malone, thank you for gifting 10 subs in Twitch chat, yo! Thank you so much. I'll check up on the alerts I missed after the quality is over. Appreciate that a lot. I'm dropping down still on leaderboard, but I think my time's enough. I'm not too concerned with, with this not being Division 1. But it is. It would be more safe to be in the top 10 right now. You're immune to gifted subs, you dodge every single gifted. Let's hope the month of September is plentiful. And that eventually you get sniped.
by a gifter. That's good. That's very good. Oh my, too wide. Yeah, it's just this ending part that I... Like, that bump, if there's some good way to dodge it, then I feel like I can improve my time by 0.2 easily. It, and it feels like there's something important there that I've missed. And there's a wheel clip on the, the right side there I need to be careful about. You can see, guys, my, my time from earlier is not necessarily uh, a fast time anymore. People improve so quickly in, in cups, but... But I think I'm just missing some small details. Overall, I feel I've learned this map pretty well. Beat a toast, Silent TM, and J Requiem, thank you as well. Last run of the qualifier. Last few tries. My, my PB went so strange here. Because it goes wide high up. And I really hope that's not the line. Cause it's it's the weirdest line to drive. And I, I need to steer more. Okay, last try. Ow. Okay, slow downs. I will check world record. We end like around top 30 qualifier. Perfectly fine by me. And if I can now use the like couple of minutes before the cup starts to understand what I'm doing wrong. Maybe we have a chance of winning this. Maybe. I don't know. See Granati here. Oh, he does... Oh, air break. No, I mean, it's... It's marginally better. Yeah, wide here, okay. And wide up and then full down. Yeah, but he, he still stays inside, okay. And does he somehow dodge these bumps? Just a bit more left and then a lot of speed and then... It, okay, inside line. Let's just quickly check if any of the others gained a lot in the ending. If there's some wobble trick. Scrappy with the weirdest line. Jumping. Doesn't really look like. Anything strange in the middle? No. No, it's just about wide set up there, and then... One more time, just... Like, etch this into memory. Around the corner... Left, over the red, and fu- Okay. Go, go. First time chatter. She bonk on my cup until I win. Welcome to Twitch. Another first time chatter. See you in Bonk Cup. Good sir, good luck, have fun. The difference between people. Alright. You guys ready? And also, I'm curious to hear, if you guys play the, the cup right now, what do you think of the map? <laughs> I think it's fine. But, um... I can see this being a map that many people dislike. can completely see that. It is very unconventional. Oh, it's almost insta PB. Didn't enjoy keeping here too. <laughs> A tip for this is actually tapping. Have you heard about the Plumptus win over Warholm in the 100 meters? I have. I have, and I'm sad. I'm sad. I really thought Warholm would take it, but 1037 is an insane 100 meter sprint time. When that's not even your main um, discipline. Uh, we had uh, Hallant with a three-year resub, Helmuth with the sub on the prime. We also had Bustle Claire, Mr. Box, and Ash Cat. Thank you, Potato Buffer. 
Monarch of Rimden, Mike One, uh, Frost and X Connor and Lama Lover and Epsilene and Sparcival and Not91. Thank you guys all so much for the subs. You look have fun. What is Cup of the Day? That's an excellent question. So, it's a daily competition in Trackmania. First, you have to qualify into a division. So you learn a brand new map for 15 minutes. Try to set a good qualifying time. And then, hopefully, uh, you end up in Division 1. That is top 64, which we're currently in. So there's 64 players competing. And every round, the slowest four players get eliminated. Until there's just two players left in a 1v1 final. And then whoever wins that one, wins the couple of the day. To in total, it's about 20 rounds in a row. Where um, mistakes get very heavily punished. So, <laughs> you just have to not be the slowest player in any single round. And uh, yeah, a lot of the best players compete. Uh, Chocolate, can you think for 15 months? Is there one knock, no knockout match than four people in a minute per round? Exactly, exactly. You guys know the drill. But some people are new every day. It's good to repeat it. The guy that was immune to gifted got sniped with a tier 3 gifted? Oh, he did! Spying when gifting a tier 3. Thank you. Thought he was doing bomb cup? A bomb cup right after this cup. But here we go. Now it's for real. And mistakes on this map are not crashing or falling off the map. They're literally just losing the gear. If you at any point drop down to first gear, you probably lose way too much time to be in. Thirty point seventy mid mid pace here, but the rounds are gonna be close. It's the short map. There isn't too much you can fail, it's only dropping the gear down. And then when you get to second gear again, you're gonna eat it on the way back, and you're gonna just get slow down. Elcon is consistently driving fast. 30.01 and now 30.1. And he says 29 seconds next round. was not good. Thirty point seven again. Around the same placement. Huge ego sorry thing of the eight months. You look like handsome Squidward in the best way possible. I have gotten this one before. I, I have gotten this one before. But they did not mean it in the best way possible. So thank you for your genuine compliment. <laughs> I think they were saying it as an insult. Oh. Oh, I almost dropped the gear. Uh, one good thing you can keep uh, attention to is the speedometer, guys. Basically, if your car dips below 100 speed, you're you're at risk of dropping the gear. There's more that goes on. It's um, also, if you're in an up or downhill, for example, it's really the rotations per minute, the RPM of the car. But 100 speed is like the, the lower bound you want to hit. If you don't want to go below that. Oh, I hit the wheel clip. Which could be very bad.
And so m more than like the speed, I'm I'm really just listening to the car. Oh, nice time from Yoso. Opinions of being awake at 3.21 a.m. in Australia and watching the stream when I'm meant to be asleep. Time is but an illusion. Uh, and if, if what you enjoy most is at when most people sleep, then why not be awake to watch it? Oh my. Oh, this is the worst start ever. Great save here, though. Really good ending. <laughs> but I lost so much in the start. Whew. Work? I mean... Then you stay up for work. Just don't sleep. Game point two, it felt so fast. It was just my start that was a complete meltdown. This is decent. <gasps> oh my. Please. Yeah. I dropped one gear in the last turn and it's plus one second. <laughs> Be careful here, guys. Be very careful. <sighs> Would you say Trickmania is all about being patient? It's a big part of it. It's a really big part of it. But, um, but not all of it. I just think the problem is that, like, if Trekmania is a game that appeals to you, as a player, it's very likely that you're a perfectionist, in some way. And you want to optimize times to, like, end records to a very high level. And so you see a mistake that you made, and you you have to go and improve it. Like, you can't accept a run that has a big flaw or an obvious crash. And so, it also becomes a thing where, like, you're gonna sit there and, like, grind the first turn of a two-minute long map over and over and over again, because you just... So, yeah, in some way you have to be patient with yourself and your expectations. But the min-maxing thing, I think, is where a lot of people get impatient because they want the perfect result and they're not getting it. And they're trying to risk and it's not working, so... Did you ever finish Deep Dip 2? I did not, but I'm going back to it very soon. The map has entered my brain core again. And I'm excited about playing it soon. <gasps> I'm out. Ah, oh, that was annoying. I didn't think it would actually crash there, but I just misread my line. Don't let it be thirty third. Oh, thank God for the believers. Oh, thank God. Okay, I'm actually okay with that. Thank God, believers. Whew. Thank, thank Frick. At least I didn't cost you your valuable channel points. I'm sad about the crash, but my god. Yeah, no. Just misread my line. But yeah, no, Deep Dip 2. Uh, I'm gonna um, play it probably end of September. End of September, start of October is what I'm looking at. Scrappy had a slowdown of some sort. First jump. Oh, yawn with the same mistake as me. It's so weird that corner because it what happens if is you're expecting the car to slide But if it doesn't slide you get a different trajectory Elcon. Hello Is he doing the things I was thinking about like some type of bounce line He almost got a sub 30 wait guys Wait, 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 wait 
He might have a, a strat here. You saw how he was the only one with a different line? Is there CAC September? No, it's moved to November. It's moved to November. So that's kind of why I'm thinking that if I'm gonna do Deep Tip 2, and especially if I'm gonna do it before the end of the year, it has to be like soon. And I, and I do want to do it. I don't want to leave it unfinished. So look at this, guys. He goes up here. Wow. That is an insane line and shark. 6,002. Yo. Thank you for gifting 25 subs to Twitch chat. And to me. But thank you so much. That's crazy. Appreciate that a lot. See some regulars got subs as well. Like Psycode. Thank you so much. I very appreciate it. How did I do? I got 30 second. Uh, a little annoyed because I, I could definitely go further, but I made an oopsie. <gasps> oh, he's eating. Oh, he's eating. That was so many gears and he just decides to give up. He crashed, dropped down to first gear. The car goes up the hill, shifts to second, loses so much speed from shifting to second, it goes down to first gear. Then it builds speed again up to second and he loses that gear again. He just had three meals. Back to back to back, ate the gear. <laughs> it was a disaster. It was a disaster. All you can eat restaurant in the first downhill. But yeah, guys, on Bonk Cup later, it won't be as bad. Uh, like, uh, one crash, we can we can stomach. Like, here, it's it's literally deadly. Going to DreamHack this year? Yes, it's actually in Stockholm. So I can just uh, go out my door, basically, and, and go to DreamHack. But I've heard it's the last one. They're, they're shutting down DreamHack for good. It was in the news the other day. So, uh, 07 DreamHack. Raptor Raid, thank you for the seven months. Necessary sacrifice in Cup of the Day to win Bond Cup. It'd be surprising if we get both. I think, you know, I don't think we can hope for that. How many subs remain until 700k on YouTube? I can check for you, but we are uh, very close. Which is insanely fun. The second channel at 700,000 subscribers. Uh, it's missing 654. 654. It's at 699k. It's not the main channel. Don't, don't say it. It's not the main channel. The main channel exists. I saw the, the comments on the video we posted today. Which was um, the D13 video. And a lot of people were like, bro, you have a main channel where you can just easily make a story about this and you upload it to virtual TV? This should have been the main channel video. And uh, I mean, they're, they're not wrong, but what if I just have better stories to tell there? What if I feel I have just overwhelmingly better stories to, to put up there? We can't, uh, can't make a story about everything. <laughs> Wafers, nine months, thank you so much. Oh, Wizzy with a clip. One of the faster players. Able to keep the gear though. He's not out yet. Dragon also struggling a bit. They both need a mistake in the last downhill. Someone could bounce here and have a disaster. But it's not gonna happen. This is a fast round. 30.8. I mean. If it wasn't for my mistake, I'd still be quite easily in here. Mandrakel, thank you for the 27 months. Now, more than anything, I just... The thing is, it's like... Guys, by the time I write a script, record voice lines, find the right music, make the cinematic cameras, find the overall red thread in a story, put all that together, I expect the D13 record is going to be beaten again. <laughs> it's, uh, 
It's, um... You set a world record? I don't know if it lasts beyond that entire production process. Warhead, thank you for gifting five subs. Thank you so much. Did you see the new dad video? I did, yeah. I did. Did you watch a Minecraft movie trailer? I have not. Is it good? Chad moves to not upload until he made the video. Yes, but... Like... I drove it on an online server. So people would know I have it. Like, immediately. It's an L movie? Maybe it's- maybe we're not the target audience. Maybe it's the kids. Did I miss Bonk Cup? No, it's happening in, uh, 30 minutes or so. A little bit less. Clean round here. 0.6 to be in. Pace is getting high. Watch it, nobody's the target audience. <laughs> I'll need to check it out. Spam will win, you heard it here first. 07 spam. You cursed him. Maybe not this round though. Oh, two gear downs. Oh, he just DNFs. You drop one gear, you just hit the retire button. It's so crazy. Bunker popping yet? No, not yet. I think I think there's some some like charm to having these movies that just encapsulate maybe maybe the story itself is not good, but they just like are a good reference point for where the world was at mentally. Like, I think it's an atrocity the Skibbity Toilet movie got cancelled. Because it could just be a cultural artifact. This happened to me. Uh, a cultural artifact for all future generations. Like, it doesn't need to be good, but we would just have it. As like, yo. <laughs> this is culture. <laughs> and the same maybe with this Minecraft movie. Uh, without knowing what, what's bad about it. Jolio, thank you for the sub. What happens if two people DNF both go out? And if two people DNF in the final, it's whoever DNFs first that loses. So if you play a couple of the day final and someone DNFs against you, you can just DNF. You don't need to finish. D DNF is do did not finish. So you just press retire. You basically give up. Like Jaka might do here after losing the gear. Looks like he will continue, but yeah, you can just press delete here and give up the run. Timer wild thing for three months. Barely missed bunk up. You did not miss bunk up. It starts in twenty minutes. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. What if in the final they tie? Yeah, this is the most stupid couple that they rule. If two people tie in the finals, uh, it's alphabetical that decides who wins. So, in the alphabet, L beats S, for example. So, um, you would think Link has the best name here, but capital letters take precedence over non-capital letters. So, Spam has the best name, if there was an exact tie. It's the name difference, yeah. So it's not like, oh, he had the best checkpoints, he had the most speed into the finish line, it's just your letters. So AAA is the best name? Exactly. And there are players that have changed their name to, for example, AAAA Virtual. Like this. To have a best name for, uh, for an actual tiebreaker. Spam out, very close round. Link versus Jade on final. Good luck. I'm trolling. Let's take a look. Both in the shift team. 
Link drove a .1 though earlier. And he has a better no slide up the first hill, more speed. Daring to go across the red block without clipping the wheel. Clean downhill line here, close to the fence, close to the pillar as well. Snapping into another no slide now, great lead over Jadon. Jadon's gonna try in the uphill here to get a bit closer, but if Link doesn't bounce here, Link will just have enough of a lead to... Oh! Oh, by four thousands! Oh my god! <laughs> Brother! Oh, that was almost disaster. He still had enough of a lead to take it home. You should never do that. That... Oh, that would be disaster. <laughs> <laughs> wow, 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 wow. 30.5 with that is a good run, though. Jesus. Jesus. Okay. Couple of the day done. And a very short one, because the map was so short. So we have like 20 minutes. What do we even do with this extra time that we've been given?